Special needs kids and Halloween. Please keep in mind there'll be a lot of little people visiting your home. Please be understanding if a child grabs more than one piece of candy at a time, they may have poor fine motor skills. And the child that takes the longest to pick out one piece of candy may have motor planning issues. The child that doesn't say trick or treat or thank you may be nonverbal. Or to the child that looks upset when they see that the candy in the bowl they're allergic to. Or there may be a child that isn't wearing a costume because of sensory issues. Or has autism. Or the big kid that comes to your door that seems too old to be trick-or-treating may be global developmentally delayed. Please choose your words wisely. Be nice, be patient. It's everyone's Halloween.